Hello friends, welcome to the help videos of Google Shopping Feed app by Symprosis. In this video, we are going to see what is product or item ID, types of product ID formats and how this app can help you use it. What is product or item ID? A product or item ID of a product defines the identity that helps to recognize the product in various stages of Google Shopping campaign creation. This includes product in the feed app, merchant center and AdWords interface. ID helps you identify the products and it helps Google, Bing and Facebook for mapping of products in the various stages of shopping and dynamic remarketing process. Please note that product identifier attributes are different from product ID. Types of product ID formats. App provides three different types of product ID formats. Shopify's ID format. SKU as product ID. Variant as ID. Shopify's ID format. Shopify underscore country code underscore product ID underscore variant ID, widely used on Shopify for almost all the different kind of submissions. This option is set as default in our app for Google Shopping and Bing Shopping. For Facebook, the app will use only variant ID as item ID, because, native Facebook pixel setup of Shopify uses variant ID to trigger various events for Facebook remarketing. For example, IDs for Google and Bing, Shopify underscore US underscore product ID underscore variant ID for the submission to US targeting. And Shopify underscore GB underscore product ID underscore variant ID for the submission of same product to England targeting. But for Facebook it will be just variant as in Facebook, there is no country specific targeting. SK use as product ID. Google Shopping Feed app provides a feature where you can use SKU as product ID for each product or variant submitted. If you prefer to use this option, make sure each and every variant has unique SKU value. Please note, once you have synced products through the app, you will not be able to change the ID format on your own. You will have to request us if you wish to change it. Also, when we change the ID format there is the possibility of downtime on your ads of up to 3 days. And, you will lose performance history of a product the moment you change the ID of the same product. Same product in the new ID format is a new product for Google. Variant ID is generated by Shopify automatically. It is a unique numeric identification value for each and every variant. Shopify assigns a variant ID to even a single variant product. If you delete the variant, the ID will be lost and cannot be recovered back. Once the ID is lost, the performance history associated with that ID will be lost as well. Variant as ID can be found in the URL of the product page of Shopify where this is product ID and this is variant ID. Our app submits this ID. For products with no variant, the only product ID is seen in the URL and not variant ID. But Shopify still creates a variant ID for single variant products. Our app will submit variant ID as product ID directly to Merchant Center. You can find this variant ID on the product list page of your Merchant Center and product page. Now we will see some points to be noted while optimizing Shopify's ID format and SKU as product ID format. Shopify's ID format. This option is set as default in product ID format when you do not choose SKU as ID in the app settings page. If you don't have unique SKU defined for each product, this is the only method with which you can submit the product. If you are migrating from Shopify's Google Shopping app or Sales Channel or any other app that has used this ID format in the previous app, you will not lose the historical performance data of the products in the AdWords and Shopping campaigns and will continue performing same as they were before. If you know your products by their SK use and wish to structure the campaigns or ad groups or product groups for specific products then this ID format may not be recommended. SKU as Product ID Format SK use help you set up the shopping campaigns in different group of products very effectively. They help you observe the campaign statistics easily and effectively just by referring the product IDs which are nothing but the SK use.
Each product or variant must have unique SKU if there are two or more products or variants having same SKU, only one shall be submitted as we cannot control which one will be submitted by the app. For SKU, Google has a limit of 50 characters and does not allow more 50 characters. It is recommended to select SKU as ID, if SKUs are unique to each and every variant. If any of your product or variant does not have SKU, app won't allow you to submit that particular product or variant. Currently, if you are not using SKU as product ID then we personally recommend you to migrate to SKU as product ID from Shopify's global ID or variant as ID. Why do we recommend it? For that please watch our video on the benefits of SKU as product ID. And the link is given in the description below. Please keep in mind as on the date of preparation of this document, we don't have support for any other product ID format for Google and Bing shopping. Hope this helps. If you have any other query or if this does not help, kindly write us at support at simprosis.com. Please do us a favor by writing the review of the app and support on the apps page on the app store. The quick link is given in the description. See you again in another video.